so today's vlog we will going to tokyo and we will go to a an art museum so this is also my first time today in there so i was kind of excited as well because i just saw this usually in the internet and it's really nice and i want to see it by myself and share it with you as well guys so, so if you want to know what i'm talking about then please keep on watching <laughs> This is what you can see outside the exit of the art museum. art aquarium where fishes are living works of art the art aquariums will house aquariums that inject elements of the japanese culture including spherical fountains a huge tank filled with colorful koi fish and a giant lotus motif vessel both rare and common types of goldfish will be on the display at the 2321 square meter space which will change according to the four seasons the fish will be swimming in sculpture-like tanks that fill the exhibition space, from the towering cylinders of the forest of Kinkyo to the spherical fountains of Oran Way, a room inspired by the courtesan district of the Edo period. You will be able to see over 30,000 fish swimming in glass vessels of all shapes and sizes in this museum. Lit with moving projections and multicolored lights, each Exhibition room in the double story museum is designed to be a treat for the eyes and ears. visit is enough if you're in this area it's a very unique place although some of the goldfish do look distressed i've not seen anything like it anywhere else
guys check this out isn't it nice in here The aquarium is divided into different areas, each with its own unique theme that plunges visitors into a multitude of fantastical worlds. One of the must-sees when visiting Art Aquarium Museum is the masterful Oiran works. As you can see here, this is the giant goldfish bowls, which are inspired by the red light district of the Edo period. Art Aquarium was conceived and is managed by Hiritomo Kimura, an author and general producer. It is a collaboration between art, design, and entertainment, all fused into an aquarium to create a completely unique experience. The museum has taken what was once a pop-up exhibition and expanded it manifold, and it housing close around 30,000 goldfish.
this. This is like a big chick. Perhaps the most striking and gorgeous part of the Edo period was Hanamachi, the districts where geisha worked. The high-ranking courtesans, known as oiran, engaged in what was known as the oiran dochu, or procession of the courtesans, and these two has been captured at the museum in the designs of the beautiful fish tanks in this area. My whole experience, everything was magical. The goldfish, the sounds, the lights, the atmosphere. They have a lot of different varieties of goldfish and the fish tanks comes in all shapes and sizes, which makes for plenty of Instagram worthy moments. And since it's inspired by Edo culture, it has a Japanese vibe to it too. The fish are always swimming around, so you will get to enjoy in every room in this place. So it is a must visit aquarium in here in Tokyo.
Singa. And, I don't know, it's like, like a dancing kind of lights in here, but it's really fun. Suigian Lounge, Old Pine Tree Area, Art Aquarium Museum even has its own dining lounge where guests can enjoy a meal while gazing at a painting of old pine trees, a cultural property of the Edo period said to have been painted by those of the Kano school of Japanese painting. Traditional performances are also carried out on the stage for diners. Kagi Ryoran is a separate cafe lounge at the aquarium where they serve authentic Japanese sweets in collaboration with famous confectionery shops. The cafe serves up a range of tasty Japanese desserts from traditional ones to others inspired by a goldfish and some made in collaboration with other shops. This is what you can see in here in this restaurant. Something like this, get the artwork on the side, and then you can see it in here. And check this out guys, there's a flower right here, the rose, Japan roses, that is so 
nice. Look at this. Their Christmas tree is so beautiful. Full of roses. Also here, side. And they also have here orange roses, guys. That one. Very cool. It's like this kind of color. Peach. Peach kind of color. like a pitch again pitch color of the rose cool nice this is so cool with all the fish Another unmissable part when visiting the aquarium are the goldfish shrines. Towering fish tanks line up like a column of water trees which makes for an incredible viewing experience. From the second floor, you can overlook the fish shrines with dynamic 3D visuals in the background. These visuals change depending on the season, so you will be in for a treat however many times you visit. There are countless works of goldfish art scattered throughout the aquarium. There's a lot to see in this area and you will get to enjoy every moment of it.
this out guys, they have also here souvenirs. Aside from restaurant or the aquarium, they also have souvenirs here if you want a remembrance from here. This is like a cup of goldfish. The Art Aquarium event sells its own souvenirs such as stuffed toys in various sizes, original confections, collaborative products, and many more. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe. Comment down below if you have any comments or suggestions. And thank you for watching guys and see you in my next vlog. Bye! I'm here now in the Tempura restaurant and I'm going to eat my dinner in here. So let's eat guys!
ジャムカチンセンターです。はい。リアセンター日本でございます。失礼します。